have gotten such a bad rap. I love you. I have heard the most amazing lies about me. These videos are satiric reviews. You don't have to agree, but don't bitch about it. Hey there, I'm Social Injustice Warrior V Infuso, and depending on which side of my fan base you're a part of, you may know me for being a wrestling mark or being a downright asshole to those who deserve it. Or maybe you accept me as both in ways that my friends and family never could. Anyway, I'm sure a lot of you know me more for the latter, which is probably why so many of you brought to my attention a very noted voice actor, Vic Mon Monoga. Vic Manga. Vic Mongoose. Vic. I'll be the first to say, I have no idea who this guy is. The first time I saw him, I was just thinking, oh boy, what did Chris Jericho's uncle get himself into this time? I mean, really, this dude looks like Gordon Ramsay's left nut. Dude looks like Elseworld Neil Patrick Harris, which is somewhere in between a compliment and an insult. So, you're welcome, and also I'm not saying sorry. This guy looks like a Vegas magician, but all oh, that's beyond the point. Now, before I continue, I want to say two things. One, I'm going to upset some people on both sides of this argument. I am. There's no if, ends, or buts about it. I know a lot of you want me to validate your side of the hashtag, but I have very mixed feelings on all of this. All I can do is take the information that was given to me, and that I've also looked into, and process it. There could be more out there. I could be very wrong in my convictions or lack thereof. And if I am, I'll correct whatever needs to be corrected. That's the same thing that goes for all of my videos. And secondly, I'm going to be breaking this up into at least two parts. You know, I'm not even going to jinx it. I'm going to be breaking this up into two parts, and that's it. Last time I said this is going to be a two-part series, all of a sudden, I was nine episodes deep in Channel Awesome, and by the time it was done, everybody liked me a lot less, which is saying a lot because nobody liked me prior to that. I have here a list of allegations off Tumblr, of all places, and a bunch of separate articles with additional allegations, and suffice it to say, Vic has been accused of a lot of things. He's accused of being homophobic, of sexually assaulting or otherwise harassing various women, and of being a pedo. So overall, it's been, it's been a pretty bad week for Vic. Probably had a lot better ones in the past. So with that being said, let's get ready to dive into this. Vic is accused of being a homophobe because he's a die-hard Christian. And I think this video here would indicate otherwise. I want to say hi to them. I want to welcome them to the University of the University. We worship at First Baptist Houston. Oh, wow. um, very much of a committed believer in Christ. And what I have found, I am also a voice actor. I do a lot of voice work for animated shows and video games. And what I have found in my personal experience is that what these kids need to know is that God loves them. Is that God embraces and accepts them as they are. They've been told by people who call themselves Christians for years, God hates this, God's going to judge you for this, God's going to condemn you for that. And they, they don't believe, they don't, they don't understand that God loves them as they are and, and accepts them as they are. So hold on. So I would encourage so Jesus you. didn't command repentance? Jesus, Jesus loves people. This video would also indicate that he's hungry for attention because why would anyone record that if they weren't seeking some kind of validation? Ooh, look at me! Look at me! I'm okay with gay people! I'm one of the good ones! Who gives a crap? Well, you want a pat on the back, buddy? It's fine! You can like Christ and not hate gays? That's, that's cool! I'm sorry, I just see things like this and it, it kind of disgusts me. I used to know this guy who used to hand out food to the homeless, and the only time he'd do it is if somebody had a camera there. Oh, take pictures of me in my superhero costume while I give this dude a sandwich! Like, uh, at what point do we say, okay, you're not actually a good person, you're just trying desperately to be seen as one? Like, like this dude is out here, like, like, extending his hand with the fucking grilled cheese in it, right? And then the, the waiting for this homeless dude to extend his so you get the perfect shot, and they could look like the, the creation of David. It just bugs me, I'm sorry. I know this has nothing to do with this, but... He's also been accused of hating the LGBTQ and whatever other initials follow that, I don't know, community because he refused to sign homoerotic fan art of the characters he's played. I have gotten such a bad rap about Yowie. I love Yowie! I have heard the most amazing lies about me and Yowie. I, I mean, like, you wouldn't believe it. If somebody said, somebody, you heard that somebody said this about me, you'd be like, 
That never even came close to happening. Why do they say such mean things? I have heard things like, Vic Mignogna hates um, Simon Yali, and one time a fan came up and gave him Yali, and he threw his Sharpie in their face. <laughs> and he walked away from the autograph session. Never, it's never happened. Never, <laughs> ever even close. I've never thrown anything, and I've never walked away, ever. Vic Mignogna was doing an autograph session one time, and somebody asked him to sign Yali, and he like, asked them where they got it, and they pointed to some girl who drew it over in the artist alley, and he got up from the table, and he went over there and screamed at the girl. I was signing, and somebody uh, brought up Yaoi for me to sign, and I said exactly what I always say. Oh, sweetie, um, I'd really rather not sign this, but if, you want, if you'd like me to sign something else, I'll be happy to. So she gave me something else. And no, that, that doesn't mean he doesn't like gays. If I was a voice actor, I wouldn't sign any fan art, like, like any whatsoever. Especially art that depicts a character differently to their source. Now, granted, I don't know if the characters that are referenced were actually gay in continuity, but still, if it wasn't official artwork, I personally don't blame him. And hey, look, if he's not cool with the whole gay thing, which by all accounts thus far, it actually kind of seems like he is, because there's also these videos here too that also kind of paint him in a... Uh, more positive light. I keep getting emails, not keep getting, but I get an email at once and saying, I have heard something very distressing about you. I heard that you hate homosexuals. I hear that you're homophobic and you hate gay people. And I'm like, I have never said one word to even imply that that's true. And I've been thinking about it. And here's what I think. You know what I think? Yes, I'm jealous. I think. <laughs> No. I, I think that because I because I'm so outspoken about my faith, I think that because most people know that my faith is very precious to me, I think that somebody somewhere like, okay, I know Christians. Notice the quote. I know Christians who are very hateful toward homosexuals, and Vic claims to be a. Christian, ipso facto, Vic hates homosexuals. Wrong. Everybody shooting video, everybody on YouTube, wrong, wrong, wrong. I love all of you. If he's not okay with the whole gay thing, then maybe he shouldn't be playing gay characters, right? I mean, this is like when Charlie Sheen did the 9-11 movie, but he was a truther. He was a 9-11 truther. The, which, by the way, let's not... Comment section, let's not get into that. We're not going to do that here. Uh, we have enough crap going on. We're not going to have, have a conversation about 9-11 in the comments. My point is, it just seems a little hypocritical for him to not be comfortable with that, but then also take money to voice a character of that orientation. And maybe that's a little bit of his fault, but I think that's also very much the fault of people who are casting him. Maybe... Maybe I'm not saying you have to, you know, eat a dick in order to play a gay character. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, you have to at least be comfortable with the idea of eating a dick. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding on that one. You understood what I was saying. But quick question. If he doesn't like gays, allegedly, if he doesn't like gays and he voices gay characters, does that make him gay for pay? They also cited him for being hateful because he doesn't like yaoi. And yeah, I just don't see it, guys. Guys, guess what? I don't like Yaoi either. I mean, do I hate the gays now because I don't want to watch a gay anime? Or a ganime, if you will? I mean, do I do I hate the gay community because I don't like watching two anime dudes bang? I mean, in my defense, I don't like watching any kind of anime at all. And also, I did see the first episode of Gravitation, so, you know, I got my Y card. It's okay, I can say these things. This video is also being used to show that he clearly has an anti-gay agenda. <laughs> What is my... <laughs> really? What? Do I really want to answer that? Uh, uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, you're uh, I was, uh, Excuse me? You gonna yell something and walk away? Come here. Come a little closer. Oh, God. What were you saying? Yeah, but then you yell something after. If I don't answer and I'm a coward, well, I can oh. promise you I'm not a coward, my friend. So I'm going to walk right up to your face and tell you what I think, okay? Here's what I think. 
The people should rule this country, not the government. This government, this country was created by the people, for the people. There should be votes in this country. And when the majority of the people say what they want, that's the way the country should go. Period. Go big. I, I wish no ill will on anybody, you guys. It's not a moral question for me. And again, no. This... This isn't evidence of anything other than him being a fence-sitter. He said what he said because he didn't want to offend either side, those who are for or against gay marriage. So far, everything I've seen amounts to nothing. And granted, guys, look, if he said he was for gay marriage, there was like a 90 to 95% chance that he was going to get thrown out of whatever church he does his seminars at. And if he said he was against it, well, then there was a good chance that he was going to get thrown out of 90 to 95% of all the events that he was scheduled for. Which, I don't think he'll have that dilemma now. He's also been accused of being hateful to other communities because he once made a comment referring to something as a holocaust. Having this, uh, this quiet time, and it sounds like they're having a holocaust outside. Because there was like, ah, 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 and all that kind of stuff outside. <laughs> now, I'm sorry guys, don't be offended. Holocaust is a generic word. It's a word. See what I'm saying? It, it doesn't, it's not a specific thing. There is the Holocaust, and then there is a word, Holocaust. And you can look it up in the dictionary, and it has a generic meaning. And again, no. He said a Holocaust, not the Holocaust. I understand that that word is closely associated with a horrific event from years ago, but the actual word holocaust wasn't made specifically to describe that singular event. The word holocaust means destruction on a mass scale. Being offended over his use of the word is like, is like, like someone making a joke saying, oh, it sounds like someone's dying in there, and then all of a sudden you stand up and go, hey, my uncle died, you heartless prick! I mean, I've wrote a similar line in a script of mine in the past where two characters enter a messy room. One goes, this place looks like a holocaust. Never once when I wrote that did I think, oh yeah, Nazi Germany, Nazi Germany. Amongst that, making a joke or, or commenting on something, it, it, it's not the same as being a racist. Like, I don't understand this mentality. Like, you made a joke on something once, so you are a fucking terrible person. You are worse than Hitler. He made, he made a quick offhand comment. I don't even know this guy, and I, I feel bad for him, at least for this half of the video. In terms of the man being anti-gay or being pro-anti-Jew, I don't see these claims for the time being having any credibility whatsoever. All of this is very over-exaggerated. Now granted, there's some more devious claims out, and I want to make that clear that I'm going to cover them in the video following. But in terms of him being anti-gay, in terms of him... Uh, not liking a certain group of people. I don't see anything whatsoever in any of these claims, at least the ones that I've read, that have any validity behind them whatsoever. And I want to say, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe there's a story I haven't heard. Maybe there is something I haven't seen. That's very possible. But from what I'm looking at, it doesn't seem that any of this has any merit whatsoever. It, it truly doesn't. So in terms of him being a homophobe and a bigot, I, I, I don't see it, guys. I, I really don't. I, I truly do not see it. And you know what the thing is, is personally, I think that w when someone really is a, a hate-filled person, I mean, I'm not talking about hate-filled like me, you know, like I'm hate-filled, but I hate everybody equally. There's not like one particular group of people I'm singling out with my hatred. I just can't stand any of y'all. But like when somebody I I is a, a specific hate-filled person, somebody who dislikes somebody because of their race, because of their sexual orientation, because of their gender, uh, a anything like that, right? It's as clear as day that they are. It comes up. It comes out. You could spot that shit from a mile away. It's like looking at bad plastic surgery. And speaking about looking at bad plastic surgery, hey, I'm sorry, man, but, but I mean, come on. Come on, you're a public figure, and, and your face looks like you injected whatever they make Ken dolls out of. I was gonna comment on it. You know what I'm saying? I was, it was gonna happen. It was gonna happen. And it did. Tune into the next part where I uh, talk about some of the more devious claims, and feel free to bludgeon me in the comments. So with that being said, I'm the Social Injustice Warrior Vian Fuso, and if you like the words that came out of my mouth hole, and you too want to become a VTARD, 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. There's plenty more where this video came from. Follow me on Twitter because, hell, why not? It's not considered stalking if it's on the internet, am I right? And don't forget to join the Discord. I don't have anything catchy to add to that, but just, just, just join it. Just go, go do it. And if you have a free moment of time and a free dollar to spare, then head over to my Patreon, where for just one buck, you too could help keep this boat afloat. And if you don't have that dollar, but you do have a free moment of time, then hit the share button. It will help me out tremendously. Ugh, the V-tart, oh.